When Woody is stolen by a toy collector, Buzz and his friends set out on a rescue mission to save Woody before he becomes a museum toy property with his roundup gang, Jesse, Prospector, and Bullseye. Welcome to the Walt Vault with Michelle, Andre, Louise, and me, Emily. We're a family-friendly podcast where we pick a new Disney movie each week. We watch it, share our thoughts, and then relate it to pop culture, fandoms, and anything else that pops into our heads. Enjoy! Hello and welcome to The Walt Vault, episode 88. 88. We are 88 episodes into this podcast. ATAT. And I'm just so happy that we're all here. <laughs> we're, because we're all here. We could have not all been here. We were all sick yeah. and tired. Between the last sick and episode tired. and this one. Sick we, and tired of being sick and we tired. We all got sick and tired and, <coughs> you know, some of us are still sick, some of us are still tired, but we're now <laughs> much, Mainly just much tired. better. <laughs> we'll forever be tired, <laughs> we but <were> before. <laughs> I'm just happy that we're here for Toy Story 2. That's right. This week we Toy are Story talking does. about the 1999 Pixar animated film, Toy Story 2, directed by John Lasseter, starring Tom Hanks, Tim Allen, a whole bunch of other guys. That means this is 21 years years old. old. Absolutely. Yeah, I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Wow. Still holds up. Wow. Still holds up in Does it though? Just kidding. I don't know. In my opinion, it does. But let's let's do first impressions then. Andre. Uh, first impression of Toy Story 2, I don't remember when I first watched this movie. I don't know if we mm-hmm. went to the theaters for it or anything yeah, like that. I, I feel like But maybe. I definitely watched it <laughs> a bunch as a kid. Like, uh, it would it would play in my house pretty regularly. Maybe not quite as regularly as Toy Story 1, but Toy Story 2 was, was, was up there. It was, it, was, it was a very good movie. And upon this viewing, um, I enjoyed it immensely. Like, I liked it a lot. And I was thinking about this since we're doing all the Toy Stories in a row. Um over the next few weeks, I was like, well, Toy Story 2 is probably pretty low on my list Mm -hmm. of Toy Story movies. But then after I watched it, I was like, "Mm, shot right back up to the top. I know. When we're done with all four, we're going to have to, like, Like say our rank them in order. You know what I mean? Yeah. I agree. All right. uh, But, yeah, uh, for this this viewing, uh, Jolly Good, two thumbs up, Darth Vader references. (laughs) (laughs) Of course. Well, this is the Toy Story movie that I grew up on. Like, I don't think I watched Toy Story 1 as much because I didn't like Sid because he, he sure. was scary. He was scary. Like, he was scary. I, I remember, like... This one wasn't a psychopath. Scary. No, this one's not really scary. And I remember not wanting to watch Toy Story 1 because it was scary. So this is the one that played in my house. Mm. It's still my favorite out of all four. Um, I loved it upon this mu- viewing as much as I probably did as a kid. It, it holds up and has a lot more buzz stuff, which I like buzz. Yeah. yeah buzz, so I think buzz, that's why buzz, I like this one a lot, too. So it's still great upon this viewing. I still really liked it. Emily. I wish Louie could be here because we have similar um, views on this movie, mm-hmm. um, but he had to take our our the t- one. our little one out on a walk so that you know we could record this podcast. Yeah. Um, but <coughs> I... Okay, so I liked it. It was a it's the better of some of the Pixar movies in my opinion, mm-hmm. but it's my least favorite Toy Story movie. Interesting. But again, but I haven't, haven't seen, seen the fourth one. Right. So yeah. I don't I don't know. Mm-hmm. But I liked it less than the first one and I've seen the third one relatively recently and I like that one better than this right. one. Yeah. Um it, this isn't a bad movie at all. Don't yeah. get me wrong. Um but I it's m- the lesser on my list at least for now. Um but I do like that there's more buzz because buzz. some of some of the parts with Woody in the first movie make me want to hit my head on the <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> Even in this one, because we'll talk just, about yeah, it. Yeah, because he's just he's self righteous. Full of Woody. himself. There's yeah. a but few characters that could definitely use some therapy in yes, these movies. Yes, <laughs> for sure. But I really like Zerg. Oh, I yes. really like I really like Buzz, and um, I like the um. The ancillary characters in this Dude, movie are funny. Ham, yeah. Potato Head, and Rex had me dying. Yeah, yeah. Andre is laughing so much. Movie. Yeah, the the ex the I don't want to call them extras, but the other characters right. are much like they make this movie yes. for sure. Mm-hmm. Because if it was just Woody and like Jesse, I would probably die. And like it's they're not a little even, ridiculous. It's not even Buzz, as in like Buzz. It's the other Buzz, oh, new buzz. <laughs> and the opening scene Buzz. 
which yeah. I, it, it, it's the new buzz yeah. that is why I like this movie I so much. Like what every deserves movie, stuff. there's like an extra buzz. Maybe not in the fourth one. I don't remember. But like, well, the third well, one is he's him. Spanish. He well, just gets his it, button pushed. Right. In in the first one, there's like uh, Mrs. Nesbitt. Mrs. <laughs> 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 Nesbitt. That's Mrs. the best part. And, and the fact that he's introduced, so he's still new buzz. Yeah. And then in this one, he, he's old buzz, and then new buzz shows up, and then right in three, Spanish buzz is. Just <laughs> I think I think in the fourth Chef's one kiss. he's barely there, so uh, yeah. <laughs> that's hilarious. <coughs> All right, well, Mrs. Nesbitt. Mrs. Let's Nesbitt. let's get into it then. So, <laughs> Mrs. Nesbitt. So this this movie opens with like, and I think after it was done, I was like, that's like one of the best opening scenes in a Pixar movie, in my opinion. Oh. I think oh, it's oh, oh, oh yeah, it's so good. It's very because cool. uh, it it's. <laughs> we start with Buzz Lightyear, and he's just flying, zooming down onto a planet with no ship <laughs> or anything. It's just and him I and his suit. I still remember the first time watching this scene mm -hmm. and being like, this is so cool. Like, I remember this from a kid, mm -hmm. and then at the end of the scene being like, what? And then being like, oh. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's so good to me. It's, it's awesome, because in the first movie, when it opens, it's like Andy playing with Woody or whatever, right? right. And so yeah. it's like fun playtime and whatnot. Yeah, it's all happy. And this movie is like space. high action, high space action. And uh, and I love the song. Buzz comes in. He hits his button to uh, propel his wings out. He starts flying through Got the planet. Got a cool belt. The planet has like weird anti-gravity stuff going on, so rocks are just floating everywhere. Oh, robots. He's flying in. He's like shooting his lasers and stuff, and it, it, it's, it's just super cool. And, and it, it, it also reminds me so much of the ride because the little robots have the Z on their chest, mm -hmm. which is just like mm -hmm. the ride at Disneyland. Yes. And we love that ride. That's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. We have to go on it. I'm like, ugh, and I this love is, it. This is where the Star Wars references begin. Uh, yep. He, when, he, when Buzz lands... He breathes like Darth Vader yes, in he his does. own helmet. It's like uh, <laughs> Andre was all. <laughs> 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 I was like, nice. Um, and then he goes like inside the the Zerg fortress or whatever, and he's like hopping on the on the dun, different platforms. It's like dun, 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 dun. which is directly from 2001: A Space Odyssey. Uh, that that particular the particular yeah. song. And then when he is like touching the battery that's uh -huh. there, the Zerg battery is like. Just like a lightsaber, it's awesome. I'm like, I am all in on this. Did they ask? Movie. Did they ask permission for these sounds? They must have, right? Well, I assume. Well, actually, I haven't. I haven't actually. It's looked not like yet. Disney owned Star Wars no, back then. No, but um, Ben Burt has been known to work on Pixar movies. Ben Burt did Wally. -E. He was the voice of Wally -E and, yeah. and did a lot of yeah. the sound design for that. And he also designed all of these sounds that I'm currently describing in Star Wars. Okay, so that's <coughs> why. Probably. That makes yes. sense. Um, and also, I think at one point, Buzz shoots his laser out of his arm, mm -hmm. and it sounds like exactly a blaster. like a TIE fighter. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, pew, 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 pew. Yeah. It's so sick, man. Um, uh, so... Buzz is, uh, is 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 falls down and he <laughs> and Zerg appears and they're having a, a crazy cool fight and then Zerg like <laughs> literally blows him in half. <laughs> he just destroys <laughs> the top of his body and it's like a little cinder. And <laughs> I remember as a kid, I was like, "What the? <laughs> like, what just happened?" And then it pulls Poor out Rex. to reveal that Rex has been playing a Buzz Lightyear video game <laughs> that I desperately want to get my hands on. Okay, because his arms are too small to push the buttons. <laughs> so, do you want to know why this is cool? What? I will tell you why this is cool. So we've talked about this before and i seriously think i'm the only adult in the universe who has played this game mm -hmm. but there's the disneyland adventure game on yeah, the xbox yeah, yeah. Right. and that. when you play like you can play the attractions uh -huh. and you're not like riding the attraction you're like playing a game that they've created in in the world of the attraction okay so when you play this attractions game you're playing the video game <gasps> that you watch on screen that's so cool so it's funny because when i was playing it i don't i did not remember the scene from being a kid. Uh -huh. So when I played the game, I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> and blah, 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 right. And you play the exact same thing. It's That's the entire so scene. So, so then cool. when we watched the movie, I was like, oh, my God, I get it now. <laughs> I played this game. Because it's the exact same thing. That's so so cool. cool. You want to get your hands on the Disneyland Adventure game. Xbox, yeah, I need an Xbox. You can just we play to, it. You can just play it at up. my house. <laughs> He's looking at my Xbox. <laughs> he, he literally <laughs> is. He's looking at it like, so we play it. I mean, we this. Can, we're only 10 minutes in the podcast. We can stop. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. But anyways, this is an and Pixar is always known to have good opening scenes. You know what I mean? But yeah. this is one is just like so funny and succinct and great. And I just I don't know why I think it's so funny that Rex can't. 
do the controller because his arms are so I'm small. I'm never going to defeat Zerg. <laughs> <laughs> and Buzz is literally like, calm down. Like, it's, <laughs> or, or is it Slinky? I don't know. Anyways, they're trying to calm down Rex, but he's real into defeating Zerg, which just <laughs> escalates more and more and more throughout the movie. So that's why Rex is like, Oh yeah, he's like one of the side characters, like you said. They really shine in this movie yeah. I like compared to like the others. He's like the most invested in Buzz's backstory. He right. always has been because Buzz used to be like invested. And he loved right. him, and now yeah. he does not care. Mm-hmm. He does but, like, not care. He at does all. not care at all. But now Rex is the number one Buzz lover. Number one yeah. Buzz fan. Like it's hilarious. hilarious. Fan. Like he 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 really wants to help him <laughs> defeat Zerg. <laughs> He did does Which eventually. So we'll get yes, there. Yes, we'll, we'll so there. still funny. Um, but anyways, um, basically the premise of this movie is. You see the Woody commercial for Al's Toy Barn. Yeah, well, yes, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's important. But we'll get to Al's Toy Barn. So Woody is going to go to cowboy camp with Andy. But while Woody's playing with him. He rips his arm, which is he doesn't want to take him to cowboy camp because Tragic. he's broken, and he gets shelved, which is like super bad. Ooh, it was rough, man. Which it's funny because in people context, mom had every Andy's mom had every intention of fixing him. Totally, yeah. she was just, just like, gonna sew it later. She was just like putting him up on the yeah. shelf just she to get him out of the way. Mom was really cool. She was like, we can maybe sew him up on the way to cowboy camp. Mm-hmm. We could, I could do it in the car before at a stoplight or whatever. And the whole whatever. reason <laughs> Andy said doing. no, which you know at the end is because he just didn't want to break it more. Yeah. You know what I mean? He was like, no. And like, he was he was sad because Woody's broken. He was yeah. like, mm, so so he gets up on the shelf because and it's funny because I was talking through the plot with Luis before you guys got here just to make sure I got my facts straight mm-hmm. and it's so simple. Yeah. Like it's a very simple very plot. Yeah, it's super simple. So he's up on the shelf. He sees Wheezy, which Wheezy. is one of their old friends. I like Wheezy. Who, was who got shelved years ago. And shelved. So then through through context and everything, he, Wheezy ends up in um, the garage the sale garage pile. Sale. Yes. And <coughs> Woody has to save him, has from, to the save him from the garage sale. sale. Yeah. And he gets stolen. By the creepiest man in the world. Oh, my goodness. Literally. Stan Podolak. (laughs) (laughs) Do you know who Stan Podolak is? No. The voice of this dude? Well, yes. The voice of this dude is Wayne Knight. Does he look like that? Who was in um, Seinfeld. He's Newman. He was also in Jurassic Park. He's the bad guy who steals the DNA um, and and gets lost with the dinosaur. And he's Stan Podolak in Space Jam. That's right. That's exactly how I know him. That's what his name is. And I kept saying the entire (laughs) time, I'm like, stupid Stan. And Luis is like, his name's Al. I'm like, it's Stan I was just saying, he's Al. Newman. The entire time. (laughs) But he's literally... He looks just like He's literally the worst. And... I don't know if this is a good point to get into animation talk because we'll talk about the animation style soon. But all I remember from the shelf is that the animation of the dust looks so, so lifelike. Oh, yeah. yeah. When Wheezy's like coughing (coughs) and it's like poofing uh, out everywhere. And the animation of Al is really disgusting and creepy, which is super accurate. Like, I think he's gross. (laughs) Like, he looks he looks gross to me, especially when he has Cheeto fingers. And we'll get into that later. Dude, that like, whole scene And is, I'm pretty sure that scene, that's the scariest part that of this scene movie is stuck gross. with me like so much. But now watching it, I was like, wow, I really appreciate like the animation of it. But but it's it's really gross. We'll yeah. get into it. So Al, he um, deals Woody. He he see he sees Woody. He gets at first. Mom he, is like, nah, it's ain't for right, sale. He gets very excited. Mm. He's like, oh my god, it's a Woody. If only this thing had its hat, it would be pro- <laughs> his hat. Oh, 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 I have so to have this thing. So remembering he Woody, five dollars. Woody's a fifties toy, right? Yes, okay. I believe so. Uh, back when TV was in black and white, yeah. <laughs> is when I think it was Woody like fifties, like mm-hmm. cowboy. Yeah. Um. So Al. He he then offers fifty dollars and was like, and Ham goes fifty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> no, no no it's not Ham. I think it's Potato Head. He's like oh, that's pretty good. Okay. Well, I, I think don't know. I think Ham is the money focused oh, yeah. uh, character. No, I think you're right <laughs> because he's got. Don't forget, Buzz. Some of us have six dollars in change that we're carrying <laughs> around. <laughs> Everything Ham so said, Andre was funny. Dying. Ham, oh my but god! But yes, he gets stolen and then um, taken to basically like his apartment where he's staying, mm-hmm. right? And so immediately, Buzz is like, you know, Woody saved me. Mm-hmm. I need to save Woody. We have to save. We Woody. have to save Woody, right? Like mm-hmm. he's the ringleader. Right. So without question, they just start packing up. And the best part of this is when. Mrs. Potato Head is packing up. Mr. Potato Head isn't. Oh no, I guess that's the after credit scene. Well, uh, well, yeah, that's the after credit scene. But I mean, we do see Mrs. Potato Head a, a lot more because at the end of she Toy is Story, in this one a lot more. She, she shows up right? And, right, and Potato Head's very excited, and it's like, oh, that's that's funny. He's got like a wife now, but he legit. 
has a wife now. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> she he is, is not he is not a free potato. <laughs> I'm a Mary Spud. I'm a Mary Spud. I'm a Mary Spud. <laughs> that that scene really got me since. Uh, it's, it's very <laughs> funny. Now, now that I'm a Mary Spud. Mary Spud. Um, <laughs> it's really funny. It's really funny. So, yeah, they, they all get uh, suited and booted to go rescue Woody. Uh, Mr. Potato Head puts his mustache on. <laughs> yes. Because he, like, mm, he means business or whatever. He got a suit up. Yeah, so they all go. So Slinky, Ham, Rex, Potato Head, and Buzz. Correct. Then they leave, five. They leave Mrs. Potato they're Head f- and Bo Peep at they're, home. They're the Avengers. For they whatever right? Isn't there they five the Avengers? Ladies. They leave the ladies. <laughs> yeah, these are the Avengers. They're the Avengers. <laughs> they're going to go get Woody. Um, so Woody ends up in the apartment, and this is where we're introduced to some of my favorite characters. I really, really like Jesse Woody's and Roundup. We Woody's got Woody's Roundup. <laughs> <coughs> Come on, jumping. Jesse the cowgirl, uh, bullseye. bullseye. He's Woody and Hook horse. Stinky Pete and Stinky there Pete the prospector. One bad toy, right? Stinky yep. Pete. And that's the thing they 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 set it up really well. It was they very well done. They show the show. Um, they they, they, show they, they play cool. it. They play yeah. it for Woody. It's all puppets, which is interesting. You know the 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 actual the actual show. It's not it's not like a cartoon or um live action i guess but it's all it's all puppets and and the toys the merch is crazy for this show like yeah. the, the 50s went real hard on merch they got, they got yo-yos toys. they got records yeah. they got all kinds of toys there's statues there's um cereal uh, but like we know cereal. we know what he was popular like he was we know now yeah. because of this but i think before we this no we didn't know Oh, I, I mean, we knew. We I knew thought we knew. Andy liked him. Yeah, but Andy okay. loves him. He's well, we a didn't cowboy know he was toy. like popular but or like an old. We toy. don't see any other Woodies, and when Buzz is coming out, you know that Buzz is a super popular. And that's toy. true. I don't think we knew he was like an old toy until this movie, especially when Andy's mom's like, "That's a family heirloom." Yeah, toy. Yeah, she says it's an old family toy, and it's like, "Oh, okay, it's interesting. I wonder how old Woody is." Yeah, and so then he's we, like fifty. And then we see this, and it's like, "Oh, Woody has been around for a while, mm-hmm. and he has held up." incredibly well aside yeah. from this new uh addition of his arm being lost <laughs> right yeah <laughs> you yeah, know yeah. oh he gets it back on i like that scene but so yeah i will say before we before we go any further i get why <laughs> but jesse drives me nuts. you don't like her in this one I, I get why she is the way she is. The character I was talking about that needs therapy the most is, is Jesse. One hundred percent. But like I get it. She has abandonment issues. She's mm-hmm. literally been like in solitary. She hyperventilates mm-hmm. a lot. She'll be like, she <laughs> hyperventilates. <laughs> but like Can't go back in the dark. Like just a character, I'm like, oh my God, we need to get past this. Because also she she's is She's great in the third movie too. She's oh, nuts. Sure. She's crazy. She is insanely excitable. She's so Yee-hoo! unbelievably Fun. happy that Woody is there. Yeah, Woody she's has been just in storage. solved all of her problems. She's been in the dark in storage, and if we know about Toy Story, it seems like the main prospect is for them to get played with by a child. Right. So if you're in storage box for who knows how long, mm-hmm. yeah, that sucks. No, you know? I, I, and I get it, but like, I am so happy once we get past this part of Jesse right. because this part is like her introduction insufferable yeah. like it's yeah. really bad it's wild what did i, I write? like her still i wrote she her eyes are bulging <laughs> oh, for sure <laughs> i said okay i forgot jesse has been trapped in a box for years and she's still insane <laughs> <laughs> she a little cray cray this point yeah she is but i think they voiced her like perfectly oh yeah they did oh, a yeah. good job um, with her character. i love her voice what's her face her name it's, is uh, what's her joan it's cusack yeah yes, yes. yes. Cusack. her voice is like fantastic. so perfect for jesse it's like acting. literally the best and i think bullseye Yee-haw! is so cute I love the only thing I like about Stinky Pete is that he hates space toys. <laughs> so he had literally has the same issue that Woody had, right? Yeah. Right. Like, oh, the space toys. I'm not, nobody likes a cowboy. And I'm like, wow. So they gave that same issue to Stinky Pete, basically, mm-hmm. which is interesting. Well, and here's like one of the coolest, I think, like developments that you learn throughout the movie is that. Pete is likable. Mm-hmm. Like, exactly. like you see in the show that he's supposed to be the bad guy, but even in the show, he's not like really he's not a like bad a really guy. Bad he's kind of just, just stupid. He's stinky Pete. Yeah. He's like, man, I'm Pete. Yeah. But <laughs> he like, just is like, nobody likes me. He reminds me of like Pete the Cat from- uh, Oh, right, from uh, Goof Troop. Yeah. yeah. And then like here, and the in the box, he's like the old wise person. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, yeah, I mean, you and he's not really evil. I mean, no. if you really come down to it. But anywho, I right. like that he was kind of towards the end. But, but they like portray him like as like the the kind of like the grandfather figure. Yes. Well, and I think his issue is like on the TV show, he's like the stupid one that like mm-hmm. is like a doof, like he's a doofus. Right. You know what I mean? A, a and so 
I think he says, like, at the end of the movie, he's like, it's hard being on a shelf like all the other toys got by, but nobody wanted Stinky Pete. You know what I mean? So yeah, he's got issues, too. He needs therapy, too. Um, <laughs> Stinky <laughs> Pete was real. voiced by Kelsey Grammer, who we know from uh, Frasier. Yeah. Yes. Frasier. Yes. Yeah. <coughs> which is which uh, is a good voice actor for that one too. Which is cool because um, when, when he starts going bad, he, yeah. he really brings out the the the, the bad guy yeah. in his voice, and it's, it's and cool. Stinky P is also really clever. So once they Woody knows that they're gonna go to this museum in Tokyo, which I'm like, is that museum there? Andre, I could go. It'd be cool, <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, Woody's like, no, I have a child, and Stinky P doesn't like freak out like how Jesse does, and he's like. Oh, he ran a yard sale. Like he's like yeah. he's so manipulative. He, he jumps directly into manipulation. He's very, very manipulative. But also, I'm very disappointed in Woody because he got manipulated way too quickly. I and mean, I'll talk about that. That's what bugs me about Woody. I mean, it's it's the entire process for him because uh, first uh, he likes Stinky them. Pete bring, of course, Stinky Pete brings it up. He's like, he's like, well, you got sold in the garage sale. I mean, it doesn't seem like they love you very much. Mm-hmm. And then he gets fixed up by and the he's guy. He's like, no, I got and he's, stolen. He's better than ever, basically. He's, yeah. he's and he's like, I have a whole TV restored. show about me. It's like when Superman uh, flies up close to the sun. He's like, oh yeah, I feel good now. Um, <laughs> but and so so that's that's helping along too. And the whole TV show, all the merch, Woody's seeing himself in a way that he's never seen himself before. Yeah. Aside from through Plus Andy's that eyes, basically. When well, yes, okay. that. Go, 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 Calm go, go, down. Go, go, go. Slow down. <laughs> Be- so because, because of all of that, <laughs> that's why he's like, you know what? Maybe Andy has outgrown me. I was put on the shelf. I, I, I'm not loved I anymore. still think he gave in way too soon. And my my issue was, like, his girls back home, like, you just going to leave Bo Peep like that? This is rude. Apparently. <laughs> that's what was bugging me. I was Fandom. like, he's, just, he's <laughs> leaving his girlfriend. It's rude. I will say, though, that that. The scene where he gets fixed up is I love probably it. I love it. the coolest thing. Do, 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 do. It's really awesome. Do, 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 so we got the uh, music do, 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 do. is nice. Yes, we got we got <laughs> old I, I, man. I like know this movie too well. <laughs> we got old man from the park who plays the chess. Mm-hmm. We've we've seen yes, him in a Pixar short him. before. Um, he shows up with an incredible toy uh, restoration it's kit. Art. An art restoration yes. kit and um and he fixes Woody up and it's it's a really beautiful scene yeah. for sure where it's so the, good. the animation is is the main focus and mm-hmm. even twenty one years later it completely holds up. Oh, it's my beautiful. favorite is when he has the cotton swab and he like sprays it and he does it across Woody's eye. He's polishing First his of eye. all, like he's polishing his eye, but the cotton swab looks so lifelike and you can literally see his eye get polished, mm-hmm. like in the animation, like get brighter. Well, That's my favorite see, part. You can see him looking into Woody's eye reflected yeah. at him. Yeah. And also and on the inside, we know Woody's looking at him, but Woody's not moving. It's like, it's a really good yeah. scene. Oh, it's right. fantastic. It's very cool. Yeah. Woody's just like letting it all happen and it's like, Oh, this is kind of nice. <laughs> <laughs> and I never realized, oh, like, on the back of Woody's head that he had, like, part of his hair color missing. Yeah, basically like, had, like, a bald spot. it. Like, I don't know. It's really, oh, yeah, really good. it's beautiful. Like, we just thought Woody's arm was torn. But during this scene, you realize how old Woody is and he's how old. much he's yeah, been yeah, yeah. played with mm-hmm. and how worn he actually is. Yeah, I agree with so you. So the though, restoration, when he comes out of it, and he's like, I feel awesome, <laughs> you know? I think that's my yeah. favorite scene. I think it just, it, it really, it's, it's like the best It scene. exemplifies Pixar's um, prowess at the time, yeah. their ability to animate something, yeah, like you said, so lifelike, even though it's not a lifelike. Um, yeah. Because Toy Story is not lifelike this at all. This was 98. Uh, 99. 99. Like, that's great. That's amazing. Yeah. It was, they did a really, they just did a really good job. Yeah, I, I really l- I love it. that scene. Um, so oh, after that, is the Cheetos. we keep kind of seeing back and forth, though, um, w- uh, the, the gang. Okay? The gang. The gang. The rest of yeah. the people. Oh, I, I, I wrote uh, Buzz and the Boys. <laughs> Buzz, Buzz and the, the boys. boys. Buzz and the Boys. Like have gotten to where else Toy Barn <laughs> But right. They, they cross they, the oh street. Yeah, we, we kind of missed the scene where they had to do a complete detective investigation yeah. and find out who took Woody, where he was, and how to get there. And they they mapped the they found the commercial. Ham has to flip through the channel. What's it's that hilarious. toy? What's that toy where Buzz was putting in like the, the letter spell. spell? Oh, okay. yeah. <laughs> He's putting in the license plate numbers and having it read them out. Al's <laughs> toy <laughs> barn. <laughs> Al's toy barn. It's awesome. I I, I love, good. I love ah, that the chicken scene. man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So they're looking for the chicken man. They get to the toy barn. Because that's where they know that the Chicken Man is. Uh-huh. What they don't know is that Chicken Man lives directly across the street at the apartment. Wi- and he still no, drives to work. 
well, yeah, so they're on the right side yeah, of the street. Yeah, they're literally Correct. right. But they have to them. cross they it. They have to cross to get to the chicken. And this scene is really good, oh, too. It gives me too. so much anxiety that they're, like, going to get hit. <laughs> and Andre the whole time was like, yikes, yeah, <laughs> because the cars are, oh. Uh, and this is, like, the classic, the cones. They get so underneath they're, the they're traffic cones. They're yeah. under the traffic cones because, you know, that's safe. They're and that's how they're going to cross it's the It's so street. cool because the toys, they're like, the, these cones, they'll protect us. People will be able to see us but not see us. So we'll be good. We're not going to get hit by a car. So they're walking across the street. They stop every once in a while because they think a car is coming. And the cars are doing an incredible job of avoiding these cones by just tearing themselves to pieces. One car does a complete <laughs> U-turn and then uh, hits <laughs> like the, the... The big rig thingy? Uh, no, no. The, um, the thing that kills your tires. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that. The reverse the, teeth Yes. Thing. There's another car that like turns around and rams into another car and then the and then the big rig comes that thing gave me so <laughs> much jack anxiety knives. yes it jackknives it turned all the way around the 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 the, the big pillar that it's carrying it's like a cylinder thing yes it's just it releases itself from the from the bed of the truck and starts rolling towards mr potato head who has gotten himself stuck in gum uh, <laughs> his whole foot comes off he's trying to pull his foot up the the pillar is coming it's so close up and then at the last second he gets his foot out of the gum and walks away and then the the cylinder rolls over the gum and picks the gum up it's an excellent it's detail fantastic. and then when they take their cones off they're like that was so bad and that's right. the best part is they have no <laughs> they idea have no idea the extreme damage <laughs> that they've caused and th the poor human world is like, what is going on? They just <laughs> caused like $45,000 <laughs> in insurance damages <laughs> to this street. The light the pole light fell pole down. down. <laughs> and they're just like, oh, look, a story bar. Oh, we made go. it. Cool. It's Sweet. So, so bad. <laughs> it's also, awesome. So now they're going to go into Al's toy barn. And I think it's hilarious that Buzz put them all on a shopping cart and like pushed them to the <laughs> entrance. I'm like, freaking mm. freaking lazies. <laughs> like, <laughs> you boys are lazy. But they get there. It's a and long way when you're a toy, dude. You got to. got to. Well, they made, Buzz, they made Buzz push worth the change. a yeah. shopping cart and them. I was like, geez, <laughs> Buzz is Momentum. strong, I guess. <laughs> but Al's Toy Barn is really cool. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the only thing maybe equivalent we used to have was Toys R Us, which was cool. I didn't really go there that much as a kid. But Al's Toy Barn is super cool. Um, yeah, it's interesting that um, – Toy stores kind of aren't really a thing anymore. Do yep. you, do you, you, mom? Do you go to toy stores a lot? No, I mean, there's no, no Amazon. There's, there's Amazon Target. and Target, right? That's yep. that's basically what yeah. it is yeah. now. But back in the day, yeah, there was Toys R Us, there was KB Toys, there was there was a, like a mom and pop toy stores. Yeah, there was a sometime. fair amount of them KB out there. Toys. KB Toys, yeah. Um, uh, one of FAO Schwartz, if you live there. in a big old yeah, city, yeah. I feel like those right. won't go away. But exactly, uh, that toy store from Home Alone. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, they, they, it, it's a it's a cool store. They walk in. Rex immediately sees the strategy guide for the buzz game and is obsessed with it. He's like, ooh. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head finds a car to drive. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ham does. Oh, and Mr. Potato right. Head's like, let me drive. Move over. L what a, let a toy with fingers actually <laughs> drive the car. <laughs> and then Mr. Potato Head's a terrible driver. <laughs> um, they're well, making because their he has removable arms. They're making their way <laughs> through the store. And Buzz goes the opposite direction away from them. Buzz finds the Buzz Lightyear aisle. Yeah. And there's a wall of new Buzzes in their space pods ready to be opened up and played with and uh, explored in the You want to know what I thought was going to happen here? Because I didn't. I remembered that, like, there was another Buzz and all this stuff. I couldn't remember exactly how it happened, mm -hmm. though. I thought he was going to have, like, a crisis. I thought it was going to have, like, an identity, oh, an identity like, crisis. issue um, because there was so many. Right. And he was looking at himself. Yeah. But I liked that it he's was very just, focused. He's he, just like, oh. His goal is to save Woody. Yeah. And like, I got the this together. I don't have time for this. He literally <laughs> says that. I love it. I love it. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. And so Buzz has oh a fight gosh. with himself and he kind of loses. New Buzz. Yeah. Uh, kicks his butt because he's he's, he's trained protocol. in um, uh, the Space Force <laughs> Academy or whatever. Uh, uh, <laughs> he's like, you're supposed to be in hypersleep in mm -hmm. your box until you're yeah. open. You're breaking proto, buddy. <laughs> and he puts uh, him back in a box, and I want to know where he found that empty box to like put Buzz in. But you That's know. a good question, yeah. But uh, yeah, they're just having to be an empty box with an empty space, and he traps Buzz there. <laughs> Buzz is like, it. no! So, new Buzz with his belt, that's how you can tell that he's a different Buzz. Yeah, because he's got like the fancy He's new got the new accessory. <laughs> um, so he shows up. He finds the rest of the toys, and, he, and yes, but like well, they kind of it's before that. So the other the other people are in the car, and they go through the Barbie aisle. Oh yes, yes. So <laughs> I'm a married the, spot. I'm a married spot. The <laughs> Barbie aisle, and of course they're like, "Oh, what's going on here?" They're having a party, and then they're asking where they can find Al, 
right? And so toy tour guide Barbie is like, fine, I'll give you a tour. I'll show I'm you. Tour guide Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> <laughs> Voiced Te by. Te van a ser por favor. <laughs> <laughs> Luis chuckled yeah. when that oh, on that one. He, he was like, oh, okay. okay. Remain seated, please. Voiced by the incredible one and only uh, Jody Benson. Is, yes. is, oh, I love is, it. Is this Barbie? I love it. Ariel bye, herself. <laughs> I love her. So when she takes them down the Buzz Lightyear aisle, she's like, and this is the Buzz Lightyear aisle. Uh, what did she say? Like, Toy Store's didn't buy enough toys to meet demand when it first came out. Oh. So that's why there's like a whole row that full of it. That is funny because that actually happens. Oh, yeah. That uh-huh, happens yeah. so often. So Furbies. I yeah. wanted a real buzz so bad when I was a kid. I wanted the buzz from the movie that had the karate chop. And they probably the didn't wings, have enough. The bulb. I didn't get it. And now as an adult, I could probably afford it. It's still kind of expensive. So <laughs> I still haven't got one. Yeah, but sure. in the back of my mind, every time I'm at Disneyland and Wait I see the buzzes, kids, I'm like, mm-hmm. I know, right? <laughs> Getting me one of those. That's right. Um, so new Buzz finds them. Uh, Rex immediately is like, Buzz, I know how to defeat Zerg. And new Buzz is like, you do? <laughs> I am because joining you on this mission. Only, that's his only one. That's his only life. thing. He has to defeat Zerg. <laughs> so he joins up with them uh, in an attempt then, to go defeat and Zerg. And Mr. Potato Head says that Buzz is the way he is just because he went back to the Buzz. I was like, oh, it's going to his head. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's like their explanation for why that's Buzz why is acting that's weird. why Buzz is acting like that. But <laughs> right, Rex, he has no personality Rex, like doesn't even care. He's right. like telling him all the strategies from the book. Like mm-hmm. there's a secret entrance on left the in left the shadows. side <laughs> in the shadows, and he's so like good. interesting. Interesting. Yeah, so good. Hilarious. Um. So, a- anyways, eventually they figure out that Al is in his apartment. So sad. Well, they watch him. Th- he was With actually the photos, he, right? He had come back over to um, like negotiate up. his deal right. at the. Oh, he had to fax the photos. Yes, he had to fax the photos of the nude, uh, the up and improved Woody. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then he takes his little car right back across the street, <laughs> and they realize they have to go back across, back the, across the street, the street. Um, to get to get to where Woody is at. Yes. At which point, Mister Zerg pops out of his box Ooh. and I love is it. now Zerg going is to released. I love Zerg. Follow them back across the street. Must destroy Buzz Lightyear. Yes. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Too good. In the meantime, before, well, I guess before the guy was over there, the movie does pop back and forth between the two scenes a lot, but let's talk about Cheeto Fingers. Oh, yeah. So, so <laughs> Woody is like, I'm leaving, right? Like, he's mm-hmm. like, even after all of this, because the Jesse thing hasn't happened yet, he's like, I have to go, but he doesn't have his arm on yet. Like, he hasn't gotten fixed oh yet. Right, he so he has fixed. to go get his arm from Al's pocket. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it's torn all the way off. Yes. Now. It's torn all the way off at this time. So Al is, like, sleeping on the couch with a bowl of Cheetos. He didn't even eat any of his Cheetos. <laughs> and they flipped the over, and it's all over his fingers, and it's all over him, and it's disgusting. But the animation is so good. It's uh, it's awesome. So and Buzz even the sound of the Cheeto crunch. Buzz has to sneak through the Cheetos. Uh, Woody. Uh, Woody. Woody. Yes, Woody has with to sneak bullseye. through the Cheetos. Bullseye is right behind him. Um, licking <laughs> Al's fingers because they're Cheeto covered. I'm not sure why he likes the taste of Cheetos, but, I mean, he's a horse. <laughs> um, oh yeah, Bullseye. By the way, is another Fantastic. long line of Disney horses that act just like dogs. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Nays before bays. I don't know if y'all remember. <laughs> <that>. <laughs> I love nays <laughs> before bays. That lovely phrase. I love Bullseye. Uh, Bullseye's awesome. Um, so Woody's up there. He's about to grab his own arm. He's gonna give himself a hand, and then, <laughs> and then, <laughs> you, uh. and then you hear a gurgle, just like <laughs> going through Al's stomach and up through his throat and out of his mouth. Goes and he just breathes Herp. hot Cheeto burp into Woody's face. And it's such a good uh, visualization because you can you can almost feel it. You can almost smell how terrible it is Woody's just from Woody's reaction. Face. Like, <laughs> it's, like when, it's like when Buzz's helmet comes off in the first movie. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. It's, it's so the funny. nastiest thing in this movie. But um, And just about this time is when the t- – uh, am I correct in saying is that he's getting the arm and that's when the TV pops on? Yes, TV turns itself on. Somehow, somehow, magically, some way, the TV turns itself <gasps> Which on. Which Woody thinks is Jesse. Because the remote is placed in front of him. And Jesse. they get into a big old fight. Like a big fight. A big one armed fight. <laughs> what does Woody, Woody say? Like arm. she's a liar and she's like, say it again. <laughs> and he's like, you're a liar. And she's like, say it one more time. And he's like, you are. A liar. <laughs> <laughs> and she like literally beats him up. Oh yeah, she she she. Wrecks well, she has him. two arms. <laughs> yeah, she's got two arms and uh, 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 a lot of fire in her belly. It's whatever. all right. He gets fixed after that, and then he's gonna leave, right? And even Stinky Pete again being manipulative, and and Woody 
does like like them like mm-hmm. he likes them yeah but he like knows he still has to go to andy right and so he's like the least you can do is make nice with jesse before you go mm-hmm. you know so manipulative <coughs> you know she's been through a lot and of course woody's like well what have you been through and then we get the song that i'm not super thrilled we're, about we're but gonna talk about Andre it, uh, likes <laughs> it. <laughs> jesse uh, goes into her backstory, mm-hmm. and it plays a Sarah McLaughlin song just to. This is manipulation by when by the movie. This is okay. this is is this an ASPCA commercial <laughs> or is this a movie? All it's, right, it's have to really donate sad. to the animals. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's it's a really really powerful song about yeah, it is. about uh, Emily, the yep. the owner of Jesse from back That's in like the day. It's like really sad and then she goes to college. Okay, okay. Well, oh, you're going man. so fast. I'm sorry. Okay, you guys talk about it. Emily loves Jesse just like Andy loves Woody. Yeah. It's it's yeah, totally. almost exactly the same. They play, they have fun, they have the great fun stories and whatnot, but what happens to Emily is that she starts getting older. She starts getting wanting to buy makeup rather than uh, play with Jesse. All right, she she starts becoming a young woman. Jesse gets shoved under the bed for a couple years. It seems like mm-hmm. until one day Emily drops her um, drops her makeup under there, finds Jesse, and Jesse's like, "Oh yeah, it's Snap. go time." She was Let's under there go. for probably like probably like four, four or five years. years yeah. something you like think that. more than that? You think I four mean, years? If, I if, was thinking like if Emily yeah, okay. if like Emily five. dropped her when she was like ten or eleven mm-hmm. or something like that, and then she didn't pick her up until she was like seventeen or something something, you know, somewhere around there. I was gonna say like seven years, yeah. Yeah, five, six, seven years, whatever. She picks her up, Jesse's like, Hooray, Emily's back, we're gonna play, we're going out to the to the to the tire swing, we're gonna swing around, I it's gonna know. be awesome. And she even puts her in her purse. She puts her in a purse, does the whole shebang. And then they get there, and Jesse gets donated. And it's the most devastating day of her entire life. And then, presumably from there, Jesse is just switched from box to box to box to box because she is so traumatized by being in the dark. Mm-hmm. That she, she absolutely hates it. It's, it's the worst thing. And she has physical reactions when it's mentioned that she has to go back into a box. It's really sad. Yeah, Jesse she has, has PTSD. PTSD and high... Anxiety and it's it's upset. So you want to hear something interesting? Yes. Here is the interesting fan theory: is that the girl who abandons Jesse in Toy Story Two is actually Andy's mom? Yeah, I've heard that. Ooh. So the idea is that all throughout Toy Story One, the original, mm-hmm. um, Andy is wearing a hat. Yes. But it's not Woody's hat. Mm. It's Jesse's hat without the what? sash. So if you'd like to see the picture, I have yeah. it here. Okay. It is Jesse's um, hat. Yeah. They're saying it's Jesse's hat missing the white ribbon, suggesting it's an older hat, possibly given to him by his mom because, remember, Woody is an heirloom. Right. Um, we don't know Andy's mom's name, so they could be the same person, or at least she had a Jesse right. um, a doll. Jesse doll when she was younger. But yes. if you look at the hat, mm. it looks just like it's Jesse's hat same. without it. Wow. So it's just a thought. That's um, cool. Pixar. Pixar. That's that's very cool. Just a thought. I like that a lot. Um, but then why would she donate Jesse but keep Woody? You know what is an even bigger theory is that Woody was Andy's dad's or something like that. Mm-hmm. You know, not necessarily that like Jesse or because yeah, we never Emily see had Jesse Andy's and dad. Andy's dad yeah. had Woody and Woody was given to him by Andy's dad until he up and got out of there or died or whatever. Whatever happened, happened to him, yeah. So that that I I I kind of like that a lot. That yeah. Th- that these two kids played with cowboy toys, grew up, had a baby, gave the cowboy toys to the baby, and now the cowboy toys. Yeah, that could be. <coughs> are reuniting. Yes. It's interesting because you know Woody, he he's been alive for a long time, right? But he never talks about any kid before Andy. Mm-mm. You know, it, it's very possible that he was in a box for a long time, or that he was. Uh, abandoned at some point as well, and Andy. Yeah, it just seems really like Andy's his to. first kid. Yeah, that's what. Which it is seems interesting like. if he's an old toy, mm-hmm. like a family heirloom. Yeah. Like but I don't. If, like, like I bet, th- around Toy Story three, Toy Story four time, that Jesse is never gonna mention Emily ever again. You right. know, by this point, she's been played with Andy and the the new girl from Toy Story three or whatever. So I think I I I. I fully believe that toys when they're owned by an owner they're completely loyal and faithful to that owner it's now the only owner they've ever had and it's only only ever right but it's only when they're 
in those in between places, like at a daycare or at in a box Abandoned or whatever. Or that's whatever. that's when they really feel animosity towards people. Mm-hmm. But when they're loved, they're they're loved and they're, they're yeah, loved. that's true. Yeah. Wow. So deep. Getting deep. Psychology of a toy. <laughs> so. Uh, and now you wonder why I was freaked out as a kid <laughs> about toys coming to life <laughs> when I was sleeping. <laughs> okay. okay. Okay, Furbies. Okay. Yeah. We yeah, talked Furbies, about, Furbies me and Lou were talking about Furbies the other day. Hi. They're so creepy. How can we program the creepiest thing <laughs> ever to market to children? Let's, let's they create did it. the Furby. They did. Um, well, I wanted all the colors. I had like three <laughs> or four Furbies. I and they would turn all. on in the middle of the night so that my sister and I garbage them. We were like, ah. Yeah. <laughs> like eventually, like when we were done with Some them. Some you know, toys like, don't deserve here. love. That's um, right. Uh, so, anyways. Buzz and the boys, uh, they decide to steal the Pizza Planet truck. To uh to get back across the street, <laughs> which is my, I was like, okay, that's how you're gonna <laughs> introduce the Pizza Planet truck in here. Pizza Planet truck is there, literally just sitting, sitting there, and, and it, you know the pizza guy must be inside the apartment yeah, building or Al's Toy Barn or something like that. I don't know where he went, or the truck broke down and <laughs> he abandoned it or it's whatever. It's fine. Ham is in the truck looking at the manual. Oh God. He goes. I seriously doubt he's getting this kind of mileage. And <laughs> Andre laughed so hard. <laughs> I just died so much because it's such a funny line, purely because Ham's never driven a car before. Why? Why does he know anything <laughs> he's the about money car dude. mileage? I don't know. <laughs> exactly. It's the most dad line in the entire movie. Yeah. Ham is a dad, like for sure. <laughs> yeah, he's not, basically. but I mean, I guess the the, the monkeys. <laughs> when he loses his cork. <laughs> Well, All right, everybody just turn around until I get my cork back in. He's hilarious. hilarious. I love Yes, him. so Rex is like trying. Who's pushing the pedal? Is it Slinky? I think it's Slinky. Yeah. And Rex is like, Rah! and and uh, Potato Head is trying to tell him where to go, and Buzz is steering the wheel. Mm-hmm. And the, the three little aliens are there. They're hanging on the. And they flew out the window, right? Yes. So um, the P- Mr. Potato Head grabs it by the string that they were hanging off. And pulls them inside and saves their lives. You and now they're eternal. We're, we're eternally grateful. grateful. <laughs> I used to say that <laughs> all the time. You know what's really? I also really like the aliens. Like I have a, a stuffed animal of mm-hmm. the aliens. Those are like my favorite. It's funny because I didn't. I always thought that like the aliens were a huge part of the movies, and they're really no. not. Yeah, like you they're see them like in the things. one scene when they go to Pizza Planet uh, in the first one. Yeah, and, and then just in this one, in this one, I had I don't know why I had thought that like. Andy had gotten some of those yeah. while he, he was there. He did. He has the. He gets those three now. They stay. Well, right from but this I movie, in Toy Story two. I thought oh, he had them by the end of no, Toy Story one. No, no. So these three guys <laughs> end, Let's up, adopt them. end up rolling with Buzz and the boys all the way through the end of the movie. Yeah, which is very cool because they're eternally grateful. We're eternally grateful. <laughs> I love them. I think they're so cute. <laughs> they're hilarious because um, they're like little culty aliens. They yeah. like believe that everything is a giant. The use the wand of power. <laughs> Clutch or the, or the or the, the, the shift shift, yeah. Oh my god, that's so funny. <laughs> it's so funny that they they believe that everything is like bigger and better than them. You know, <laughs> like <laughs> they are not worthy of anything that they have ever experienced in life. So good, including their new saviors. They're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> so they make it across the street uh, by the seat of their pants, like uh, to. Five toys driving a car is just the <laughs> most dangerous thing. It's even more dangerous than them just walking across the street as cones. It's Definitely. nuts. <laughs> but they make it across. <laughs> they get inside the building. And then they have to go up the elevator shaft to the left and in the shadows. That's where you get to Zerg. And Buzz is like, yeah, you're right. It's in the shadows. <laughs> and Rex is like, huh? <laughs> like, you can tell Rex is kind of like, hmm, interesting. Yeah. But yes, Zerg follows them. Right. And I love it when, when Zerg just easily crosses the street. He's like, destroy, <laughs> Buzz, Lightyear. Destroy, <laughs> Buzz, and it's Lightyear. And because he's just, because he's so toy and right. not cognizant of what's actually happening, mm-hmm. he does not care. He's just no. like, ah, I'm going Bye. That's a Gotta get that buzz. That's another really cool <laughs> detail about the toys is that when they're fresh out of the box, they are the character that yes. they are. And it, it, they only gr- they grow and learn as they become played with and yes. stuff like that. But what fresh out of the box, Zerg is Zerg. He is yep. an <laughs> evil bad guy who is set to destroy Buzz. Yeah. And we'll get to what he becomes a the little best. bit later. Well, another good. best scene <laughs> in the movie. Stuff. It's good <laughs> so stuff. So they're... Which I forgot about, FYI. Oh, did you? Made it very really? Good. Oh, yes. it's so good. So they have to go up the elevator shaft. Um, through the vents. Through the, the vents, vents. But the elevator's, like, not <laughs> there. So... Oh, 
first Buzz Lightyear tries to fly, he's like, I'm just going to fly to infinity and beyond. <laughs> he didn't move, and he's like, oh, no, something's not working. <laughs> and so then he I has these, remember, like. I this is this is fresh this out is the box. Yeah, so he has Buzz. these, like, cuff thingies that he's doing it on the wall. Like yeah, he has, like, little suction, suction, cuffs suction cuff that things. he pulls out from the and back. And he's just carrying them all. Like, I'm, I'm really convinced that Buzz Lightyear is, like, the strongest New toy. Buzz is very strong. Um, but they slip, and they fall. <laughs> They fall because Rex has little arms and he can't hold on. Very well, long. I think at f- I think first Buzz is climbing up and they're all barely hanging on and he's and Buzz is like, oh wait, what am I doing? I uh. have my new anti gravity belt. That's the new accessory that comes with all the new Buzz Lightyears. I'll just hit this and then we'll fly right up to the and top. And they're like, no. <laughs> so, so Buzz, Buzz is like, all right, I'm ready to let go. And Do they like, know? I feel like I would have to know at this point. Like, what the heck, Buzz? What, you know what like I mean? the the other that toys? He's not Buzz. They oh, still don't know. You know, I think they still don't they, know. They're they're, they're pretty oblivious. Yeah. Um, they're ridiculous. They think he they think he's entitled right now because he got us a new <laughs> yeah, belt. It's so it's so ridiculous. They 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 see him. He's going to infinity. They're like Buzz, come on, and beyond, Buzz, no! <laughs> and then he <laughs> lets go, and he hits his button, and then they they the fall. The elevator goes up. But then he Buzz rises from the ashes or whatever. Yeah, but he's standing, he's standing on top on of on their pile of bodies. <laughs> pile of toys. <laughs> And but they're so mad like, once it goes up. I knew it would per- work. <laughs> it's just perfect because he is quote unquote flying, or right. he thinks he's quote unquote oh, flying. Oh yeah, he absolutely thinks he's. But does. It, it, but it's so not. It's Everything just he's doing is fitting into his own narrative, I which just, is that's <laughs> so just good. so hilarious. Even when he's looking for Woody, he's like this way, and they're like, "How do you know it's this way?" And he's like, "I know. I'm Buzz Lightyear." I'm like, okay, <laughs> but he like was <laughs> right. Is the thing that's why? <laughs> it's like, why were you right? It's so, so good. They, they find. They find where Woody is, and Woody at this point has decided to stay with them. Correct. um, Because he doesn't want to break up the Roundup gang, and Mm -hmm. they're... (laughs) This is my. This is how entitled Woody is. Where him and Jesse are like getting excited that they're gonna go, mm-hmm. and they're like playing around, and then and he's like, wait, 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 introduce me, introduce me, right? And he goes behind the curtain, and she's like, the root news, two news, blah, blah, you <laughs> forgot something, something, mm-hmm. and he comes out, and he's just walking like he's the bee's knees, <laughs> like he's like, like he just walked out of a saloon. Hello, his hat's yeah. all tipped. He, uh, yeah, hey, girl. yeah, he, uh, <laughs> he, he got some Woody I, swagger. Okay? There is a song I want to sing, but I can't sing it because <laughs> it's inappropriate. Okay, <laughs> that's very funny. Um, so Woody's having a grand old time <laughs> with the Roundup Gang. All right, he's he's having a ball, only to be interrupted by his old friends who have decided to ram Rex's head through the <laughs> vent. <laughs> you got to use your head. I don't want to use my head. It's so good. And they slam through the thing. They bust out, and they're in full on ready to fight rescue oh mode. yeah they're, they're ready like to pin down jesse <laughs> they they tie up bullseye they do everything mm-hmm. to to extract woody and he's like no no guys 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 stop 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 and meanwhile stinky pete has completely closed the vent using his little pickaxe he's like you are going anywhere and the and the ooh is that he's out of the box he's out of the box i guess i just assumed that he couldn't get out of the box like right. it was sealed like it was didn't taped or whatever yeah, you or know? that he just could not get out mm-hmm. and that's where like the story starts unfolding that number one he can get out number two he's the one who's been foiling the plan mm-hmm. since he turned on the tv oh my god oh my goodness it's it's very exciting and you know we're, we're kind of facetiously saying like it's, it's kind of crazy that he did that but when you're watching the movie, it's a it's a straight up reveal. Like, oh, yeah, I, did, I, I was did, not I didn't, expecting it. I did not expect Sticky Pete to be the bad guy. You know, no. even though they s- explicitly say he's the bad guy on the show. Yes, but he seemed like such a good, like wise character. Mm-hmm. That good natured. It's so funny. Loving old man. There's all. There's many times in cinema where this character, this like, like shepherd of, of the antagonist. Or protagonist, excuse me. Sure, yeah. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Is the bad guy. And you're like, no, I trusted you. (laughs) I trusted you. You betrayed me. Yes, as the viewer, you are upset. And this was definitely one of those times because I'm ready for, you know, them to carry them off into the sunset. And they're actually the the underlying factor that has been their demise the whole time. Yes, exactly. Ooh. So using insider information (coughs) against them. It's just so awful. It's awful. It's terrible. So we kind of forgot to mention that. Old Buzz has been here the entire time. He he escaped from the box not too long after New Buzz tied him up. Yeah, and he got so over he's there been chasing pretty good. Them. 
and he's right behind them. He comes in at the, almost the same time. He breaks up uh, the, the fight. <laughs> he stops Old Buzz. What does he do to Old Buzz? Oh, he opens he his opens helmet. He opens his helmet. <laughs> and then they're, they're like, like how do we know which one is the real Buzz? And he, he opens <laughs> it. <laughs> and they're, and like, they're like, hey, oh, Buzz. Oh, oh. Buzz. He, oh, he also sticks up his foot and shows that it says Andy on the bottom. Yeah. And that's when they really go, Buzz! <laughs> <Yeah>. Stupid. <laughs> Hilarious. Because that was the indicator. Yeah. I, mean, I get that that is an indicator, <laughs> but like. That that was your what you needed yeah. to agree. Okay, <laughs> silly. So what he decides that he actually is gonna go with them, and that hey, roundup gang, you guys can just come with me. But it was like harsh the conversation between Woody and Buzz. Oh right, that's right. They do break up for a minute. It was like really harsh. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I'm not coming. Mm-hmm. Like I'm going to Tokyo. Yeah. And Buzz is like, you're abandoning like Andy, Andy, and blah blah. And it's like kind of heartbreaking because Woody was the one that like convinced Buzz all the stuff the movie right, the, previously, the, the, the. and that's why I say like I ugh, Woody bugs me. I mean, he always kind of bugs me. I like him, mm-hmm. but um, like he's just like, wow, you're gonna abandon like everybody. You know what I mean? Right. Like if it was me, I would have thought first of all just to bring them with me. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that would have been like my first thing I had thought of. Mm-hmm. You know, but yeah. not Woody. So it's uh, oh so I think Stinky they do, Pete they is still up. yeah they they break up. Stinky Pete is still in his box, and, and then and then the, the the toys leave. The Buzz and the yeah. boys they all they all walk back through the vet, and that's when uh, Stinky Pete the prospector, because Woody's having second thoughts. Oh, he he watches himself sing "You've Got a Friend in Me" on the TV. Yeah, and, and that he's puts like, everything Aww. back into perspective for him. He's like, "Oh, that's right. Buzz Lightyear is my best friend in the whole world. Andy is my best friend in the whole world. Yeah. I need to be a good friend to him and to them, all of them. I have to go back." And Stinky Pete's like, "Dang, <laughs> why not let this TV stay turned on?" I thought I had this in the uh, bag. Uh huh. So Stinky Pete has to reveal himself and lock Woody inside. Even Je- well, Jesse didn't even know about Stinky Pete either. Cause right. She was like, "What?" Correct. And I think He's that's when she kind of lost it, too. Mm-hmm. But it didn't really matter because freaking Al came back and they had to get in their box and then they were going to get shipped away. They're going to get packed up. They're on so their Buzz way to the airport. So Buzz had to go stay them again. Yes. But, you know, um, something happens in between this that Andre wants to talk about. In the elevator. <laughs> oh, <laughs> old Buzz, he's reunited. New Buzz is still there. And Zerg has caught up to them. Has arrived. <laughs> Zerg has arrived. So menacingly. And it's funny because <laughs> when you're watching up it. Like the, like yes, the elevator does. When you're watching it as a viewer, it's hilarious because it's it's like, oh my God, he's so big and so mean. Uh-huh. And then when you like see him like see in, him a little later. <laughs> he's literally a toy. He's a toy. He's a tiny there. little <laughs> <It's> <laughs> so a tiny little toy. But Zerg and New Buzz, they go at it immediately. Mm-hmm. Zerg starts Dude, shooting little Zerg balls. Zerg is like, kicking his butt. Do, 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 do. And, Buzz, <laughs> and Buzz is shooting him with a lair. <laughs> <laughs> and Zerg is like, oh. <laughs> 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 They're having an incredible fight on the elevator. It's and incredible th- for being so, <laughs> so fake. Silly. It's so silly. So silly and ridiculous. Acting like they're getting hurt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Although Zerg is kicking his butt. Zerg, Zerg, yes. Zerg like destroys him he he like holds him up and like is slamming his face buzz 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 <laughs> light year <laughs> slamming his face into the thing yeah. he gets the upper hand and but uh, and rex all the time is like in the background telling new buzz what to do like yes. you gotta do it, you gotta do it he's coaching too invested um zerg finally gets the best of buzz and and Zerg goes, join me. <laughs> and Buzz goes, never. I'll never join you. You killed my father. <laughs> and Zerg goes, no, Buzz. I am your father. And new Buzz goes, no. <laughs> and Rex is in the back. I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> Rex is like, what? <laughs> so good. So good. It's amazing. Is that like so a storyline that was known like to Rex? Like, I don't think he knew about that either. Probably I mean, I get, oh, he hadn't gotten to that point in the game. He hadn't beaten it. Yeah, you know, it, I, I think once <laughs> you once you finish that fight in the game, that's when it's revealed that Zerg is Buzz's father. Yeah. <laughs> Just remember, he didn't know before <laughs> about the little place in the shadow. Oh, my gosh. So that reveal happens. And then Rex runs in and like tail whips Zerg. And he's like, I can't. Because he's gonna get thrown off, and yeah, right. into the depths of the elevator shaft, and, and he's like, "I did it! I defeated Zerg. Zerg!" New Buzz goes, 
father <laughs> as he reaches over the side. It's hilarious. It's good stuff. It's the best Star Wars reference in any movie ever. Fantastic. And it's okay because the new Buzz isn't going to go with them on the rescue. He's like, it's okay. I got to spend time with my dad. <laughs> yes, they have, they have found... Um, catch, son. <laughs> <laughs> they found Zerg at the bottom of the thing, and now they're just playing catch with one of Zerg's little power balls. It's hilarious. <laughs> Oh my goodness! It's like the flower bed outside the apartment <laughs> <Yeah>. building. <laughs> oh Go long, Buzz. <laughs> oh good. Thanks, Thanks Dad. Dad. <laughs> oh, it's hilarious. Okay, so, <laughs> so we stupid. we close out the third act by following um, Woody and the toys to the airport. How did how did, how did Buzz and the boys get to the airport? The car again? No, they they take the Pizza Planet truck. They they make it to the airport. Goodness gracious. Um, they make it there. Uh, the Woody and the Roundup gang have been thrown onto the, like the conveyor belt where all the oh my all god the luggage and this goes. this scene gives me anxiety too. Like, do you really think like airport conveyor belts look like that? Right, like there's well, that many hundreds of luggage. Well they reveal all the lines of luggage and where they're all. It going. reminds me of like when you see all the doors in Monsters Inc. Oh, yeah. for sure, very similar. And it's similar. like you know, I've never been back to one of those places, but think about most major airports that have dozens of airlines and mm -hmm. like hundreds of flights that are leaving. Yeah, Which it do probably does look like that. Have you guys flown out of Oakland before? No, yeah. I feel like it looked just like Oakland. Really? The Oakland Airport? Yeah. yeah. Which yeah. at first Which they said it looked like... Makes S a lot of sense. Because it's in Emeryville, right? Yes, yeah. Pixar is up there. So it, that would have been like one of the closest airports because at first I thought it looked like San Francisco International mm -hmm. and then I was like, mm, no, it looks like Oakland. Yeah. It probably um, is. So it, probably it was really funny because Louise was like, hey, I picked you up right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, it kind of does look like that airport. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, the outside, like the parking? Yeah, yeah like it, it does. very yeah, well yeah, could yeah. have been like it probably, it off probably of that. Is. Yeah, absolutely. But it, it, it's, a, it's hard because there's two green luggages and they don't know which one to follow right, so, so they, they split, split up, up. Um, one <laughs> of the green luggages that they get to only has cameras in it and Ham goes hmm, nice flash though yeah, nice flash though <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Buzz stinky. finds the real one that has Woody in it he rescues Woody Stinky Pete no Stinky Pete stinky punches Pete him man. gives him a sucker punch right to the face kablam so rude it's wild but then they 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 they, just they dispatch Pete. with just Stinky Pete. They, they 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 put him in a girl's back. The other toys <laughs> come up with the flash bulbs, uh, blind him, and then put him put him in a in a little girl's backpack, which is hilarious. Which is <laughs> very funny. He's so upset. He's <laughs> like, no. <laughs> but Woody and Jesse actually get put onto the plane. Well, because Jesse gets separated, they sh they can't get her out of the thing, mm -hmm. and she gets put on the plane. So Woody goes on the plane. And God, this poor girl, when he opens the luggage, she's like in child's in pose. Fetal just position. like, mm -hmm. it's so yeah. sad. It's, 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 it's upsetting. So Woody rescues her. They he says something nice like, I'm going to leave my gal. Some, some my best gal. My best gal? Something, something No, like that's that. like Captain America says <laughs> my best gal. <laughs> Dude, the <laughs> comparisons between Woody and Captain America and no. Buzz Lightyear and Iron Man. There, there, there's in there. It's, it's no. some of it's in there. Okay, like, you're just saying that because you like Cap. Okay, like, yeah. no, he, they're both annoying. <laughs> Woody's not my jam. <laughs> Captain America would never leave his best friend Buzz. He would never leave Bucky. I don't know if you saw a little movie called Captain America: Civil War. <laughs> oh, but uh, anyway. Oh, Bucky <laughs> is so annoying. We don't have time for this. His um, best gal. <laughs> <laughs> was never Peggy. It was like <laughs> 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 Emily really hates Bucky. I shouldn't have brought. I shouldn't have brought him up. <laughs> shouldn't have brought him up. You can catch the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. This <laughs> song is on Disney Plus. Um, <laughs> so Woody and Jesse have to escape the plane, which is now fully in motion. Yeah, it's, it's, like it's rolling off. down the runway. We are the boys in motion. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, All right. Um, I'm hungry. <laughs> Buzz and Bullseye are riding. Uh, in their wake, just a toy chasing after a plane, <laughs> <laughs> which is so good. It's like on the tarmac, and he's keeping up. Like, okay, up. Yeah, on, ride like the wind, bullseye. Um, Woody and Jesse have to swing down. He, Woody's gonna throw his uh little uh, lasso. his lasso. Yeah, this would his, never happen. His built-in lasso to one of the bolts that is on the the landing gear. And then, uh, what does he say? Do you trust me or something like yeah, that? Yeah, he said it's going to be like the last episode that got cut. Right, but we never saw the end of the last episode. Like, you're gonna it's have fine. To they me. made it onto Bullseye. They swing down. They hop onto Bullseye. And then the plane takes off just in the nick of time. Literally, all of that gave, gives me so much anxiety. It's, like, it's, a, crazy, it's it. a crazy scene. It's very exciting. 
And in the most unlikely fashion, they then drive the um, entire <laughs> like the luggage cart, luggage cart <laughs> all the way back to I Andy's love when the neighbors the next morning are like just looking at it They're outside, like, like is, how did this how did this get, get on our lawn? <laughs> Literally, so funny. what kind of drunk luggage carrier <laughs> <laughs> wound up here before there were like doorbell monitor? Yeah, cams, yeah, you before know what the I mean? ring camera. But it's also <laughs> can you imagine like seeing toys? Oh, excuse me. It's also <laughs> interesting because Stinky. Pete uh, broke our Woody's arm again, like yes. ripped through Woody's arm again. And so they put Woody, well, do they put Woody back up on their shelf? They no, they like set it up on the, they set it up on the bed with like Bullseye. Like welcome, high, like welcome and Andy. Yeah, welcome, like with Bullseye and um, Jesse and then Woody. Yes. And he, uh, Andy fixes Woody's arm, but it's like real. He puts a little too much stuff in that arm. Real buff. <laughs> <laughs> so he's all buff. One buff arm. You know, um, the best part of this was Luis goes. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, you know, if I were if I were a human and I was watching those toys coming up the driveway, I would have been very surprised. And I said, Lou, if you were a human, <laughs> watching those if toys. you were a human, and he was like, yeah, if I was a human watching those toys, I said, well, good thing you're not a human. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's but they hilarious. never see the toys. That's <laughs> doesn't matter anyways. But I like that the dog can see the toys. That is fantastic. Yeah, that, that, that they brought that back. Yeah. Because Buster was the gift at the end Reach of Toy Story 1. Reach for this guy. <laughs> yeah, and, and Buster's completely cool with toys being alive, and he, he covers for them yeah. and stuff. He helps them out. Yeah, he helps them. He's so <laughs> cute. And he listens to them to do tricks, but he does not, not listen not to, to Andy. Andy. Andy's like, stuff. Hey. I love that. And but he's not grown up enough. It, it, the best part about this ending is Squeak, Wheezy got fixed, right? Mm -hmm. And he's going to sing the song, but his voice is like, I feel a song coming on. You got a friend <laughs> in me. <laughs> and he has the most beautiful, yes, sultry do. voice. <laughs> <laughs> the Barbies in the background. The Barbies are, <laughs> are definitely working it back And there. also, uh, Buzz is way into Jesse. Oh, yeah. Buzz and Jesse are like meet, uh, not meet, they but meet. they because well, they met before. But yeah, but, but now they're like he's like you know you're a nice lady something something. I don't remember what mm -hmm. he says, but the dog needs out to use the restroom, and Jesse's like we gotta save that critter, and she like does the whole thing, and then Buzz's wings pop <laughs> up, <laughs> which is a very Showing. suggestive, <laughs> and very funny, suggestive, but it's funny. funny. Scene. Like Hilarious. I love that Pixar puts in little things for adults. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yes. And then uh, then the movie's over, and then we get the bloopers. At the at the end of the at the, the end of the, the film during the credits, we can talk about the bloopers with the Easter eggs. Yeah, you want to talk about bloopers first or Easter eggs? Um, talk about the bloopers first. Well, let me look up the um, because the honestly, the Easter eggs for this movie are more um, theory than they are like real real Easter eggs. Mm. Because so interesting. Let me just go into it. So. We know that we see, like, the Pizza Planet truck in all of our Pixar movies. This one is very overt. It's not, like, really It's, like, hidden. Right. We're just like, boom, there's a Pizza Planet truck. <laughs> um, a lot of what we see, too, is just what people are assuming. So, like, for example, the Toy Story 2 tree that um, Jesse's mom swings and the tires swing on. Mm -hmm. or, excuse me. We don't know it's Jesse's mom. Or, uh, excuse me, Andy's mom. Jesse's owner right um looks very much like the bugs the life bugs tree. life tree um like from the opposite side mm. like the way that it's yeah the that way that sense. it's bent and stuff so that's <laughs> saying like maybe it's a bugs life yeah history. and there's even a bugs life blooper in here so yeah. they 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 zoom in on flick and uh the heimlich. caterpillar heimlich yes. and <laughs> they're like oh my god i can't believe we got to do a sequel a bug bugs life too which is, i'd be about this is awesome and flick's like well, the thing is, we, it's not necessarily going to be Bugs Life 2, but it is a Pixar sequel. And they're like, what? What movie is this? And then Buzz is just like karate chopping. <laughs> <laughs> through the, through they the trees. look so tiny. <laughs> they it's fly fantastic. Off. That was hilarious. Um, there's another at least callback when um, Buzz and Woody are fighting in the first movie and they're like pushing each other's faces and stuff. Mm -hmm. It's almost exactly the same when... Oh, when Jesse's Woody beating him up. Jesse are oh, that's in interesting. Mm. So it's cool just to see how similar <coughs> the animation looks. Um, yeah. And Woody is getting beat up again yeah. by the camera. And that also connects Jesse and Buzz. Well, together, Woody, if you weren't so more. stupid, you wouldn't For use sure. <laughs> um, we already talked about how um, Woody, excuse me, Andy's hat is very similar to Jesse's yeah, hat. Yeah, I like that. And even if it's not. Andy's mom's hat. At right. least it shows that it is an old hat and it came from Jesse right. originally. Yeah. Um other than that we do we do just see other callbacks to the movie and obviously the biggest um 
Easter egg is Star Wars everything. Yeah. Oh, literally. This movie it's is a, chock it's a full star, of Star Wars. <laughs> it's a Star Wars little reference. It's a Star Wars story. On. Yeah, absolutely. So the my favorite of the bloopers is uh, Mrs. Potato Head putting all of the things <laughs> in Mr. <laughs> Potato Head. Some so cheese puffs if you get hungry. It's a key. I don't know what it goes to, but you never know. <laughs> the Play-Doh. Oh, yeah. And the Play-Doh's like pushing his ears and nose and eyes out, which is very But funny. he draws a line at monkeys. Oh, know? he was, yeah. She, at the monkeys. <laughs> she was going to put the monkeys in his butt. Also, he, he's basically like Mary Poppins bag. Yeah, he's kind of got a never-ending... Uh, Supply. Of yeah. He's got. He's got an extend. Uh, uh, a never ending extendable extension charm in his in his butt. For sure. Yeah. In his butt. In his butt. That's true. Um, there's another um, blooper where <laughs> they use <laughs> they use Rex's head as the battergram, but instead of the vent opening, it just oh they just God. crash into it, <laughs> which is really funny. the The fact that they write animate and do the bloopers for the end of the movie is is like really I like that it, it really puts Pixar like over the edge into like it's it's not necessarily like they're trying too hard but it, it, it they just put a lot of detail and a lot of effort into their work yeah and I mean it was simple stuff like Woody drawing on Buzz's face <laughs> Woody doing the pranks to Buzz through like the set of the movie <laughs> I, bet, I bet those two actors actually did that like come on I mean you know maybe I mean? but also voice acting isn't like that you they probably weren't necessarily in the same room when they were recording those lines. Yeah. You know? So, like, it's very possible that Tom Hanks and Tim Allen never interacted during the course of filming this movie. But the fact that Woody and Buzz are the actors, and <laughs> Woody keeps drawing stuff on Buzz's helmet, <laughs> it's very funny. It's so funny. And Buzz is like, Woody! Woody! <laughs> Cut. <coughs> oh, my God. And then we end with, like, literally one of the best ones. Which is uh, tour guide Barbie, oh, no. and she's no tour tour guide Barbie, and she's like telling all of all of the people in the theater because it, I mean it's written for a theater, right? right? Yeah. So she's <laughs> telling all the people to leave, like bye right. bye, bye bye now, bye bye, now. bye, bye. Oh, bye, bye. bye, bye now. Are bye they gone? Are they gone? Can I stop smiling now? And she's like, yeah. oh my gosh, oh, like I need literally a break. me every day. <laughs> like, can I stop smiling? <laughs> We've all been there. <laughs> gosh, and I love Jodie Benson so much. I think she's so cool. Yeah, obviously. Um, <laughs> all the performances in this movie were fantastic. The cast I, I, is great. Yeah, the cast is, is well. And that's the thing dope. about these movies is like the cast doesn't necessarily change. They just have like little new. Side they have additions. Characters. Yeah, absolutely. They they they, they, keep, they yeah. keep on adding. Well, and one um, of the interesting things about this one, here's just a couple interesting facts that I thought were really, really, really cool. Um, and one of them is about the casting, um, is um, Slinky's character. Mm -hmm. He was voiced in this Jolly movie Bob by Jim Varney. So this was the last Toy Story film that featured him because he passed away in February of 2000. Right. Three months after the film's theatrical release. So after this and two Toy Story 3 and 4, Blake Clark played Slinky. So that was interesting. That was one of the only characters mm. that got revoiced. I didn't realize. Like, I, I knew that the guy who played Slinky was, like, famous, and I knew that he – that he had a good voice, but I didn't realize that he's Ernest. He's the, the Ernest from all of the Ernest movies. Ernest mm -hmm. goes to camp, Ernest goes mm -hmm. to the beach, whatever, whatever Ernest is doing. He's Slinky. Okay, that's very cool. Do you want to know another cool thing? Yes. This was the last Toy Story film to be released on VHS. Right. Which is hilarious. Oh, my God. Because when yeah. you think VHS, I feel like that was like so 7 million years ago. I know, but well it was yes. only 20 years ago. But it's very interesting. because that's I a long time. Because I think... I know. <laughs> I think my family got our first like DVD player around this time. Yep. I remember my last couple Probably. of VHSs were like X Men, which also came out in like 2000 or something like that. I think Toy Story two, and then maybe I might have had Spider Man on. VHS, although I probably had it on DVD. Actually, I think I did have it on DVD. That's yeah. crazy. This was that a very wild transition. God, now I feel from old. VHS to DVD. And, and I, I remember like, I don't have to rewind these. Uh oh, exactly. game changer. Yeah, like it. It almost felt like like we were in a whole new era because you were using a completely different machine. Mm -hmm. you different like format. You said, it looked like way better. To so much better. Different. The idea of like you don't have to sit and watch the mm -hmm. um the. What do you call those? The cr not the credits, but the um, opening. Uh, 
mm-hmm. trailers. Do you not have to oh, watch right, right, right. You don't have to watch the trailers. Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah, can yeah, skip yeah. the trailers. Just the so it's just so <laughs> interesting. But yeah, this was the last um, Toy Story to be on VHS. Right. So that's pretty cool. That's dope. Jolly good. I like VHS. <laughs> Old school. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I'm not gonna. I mean, I don't like it, but I like it. I don't like it, but I like it. I like those big boxes that all the the Disney movies came in, yeah. the big plastic ones that would yeah, cut you. Those are cool. Mm-hmm. Those are fun to to collect. All right, let's hear money, 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 money. Um, God, over six dollars in change ha- held in the <laughs> in, in Ham's uh, body for this movie. Let me see. Where's my box office? Oh, here it is. So, this movie had a budget of ninety million dollars, which is fairly substantial. Um, uh, in the nineties, uh, it ended up making a domestic total of two hundred forty-five million dollars, and worldwide, it overall grossed four hundred ninety-seven million dollars. So this movie made half a bill in nineteen ninety-nine. Jeez, very good, very good. That's not even including like merch or like theme park stuff. Like Toy Story is such a huge franchise, and I don't think it'll ever not be popular. I wonder how that goes down with merch because I realize that some t- like each character gets a little bit of a reboot in each mo- in, right. e- in each subsequent movie. Mm-hmm. Like we see, especially for this one, which we'll talk more about when we come to Toy Story Four. But like Bo Peep is like completely different. Yeah. But I wonder how that goes for like Woody, who doesn't change who doesn't like change outwardly. Much. Right. Like does the do the right do the right not the rights but do. Well, I guess it's the same company, so it's not yeah. like they're going to get different royalties or different. Correct. Like, like if if for some reason some of like the cast, some of the actors, like mm-hmm. Tom Hanks has uh, made a deal good enough to get points on the merch, mm-hmm. which I feel like doesn't happen that often in Hollywood, but maybe for Tom Hanks, I don't know. But, <laughs> if, but if so, then yeah, maybe after each movie he would get, for Toy Story 1 he got a certain amount for all the merch. Toy Story 2 he gets way more. Toy Story 3 gets way, way more. Mm-hmm. Toy Story 4 gets it's astronomical amount of of money right. because he's re-upped you guys need me now you're not gonna yeah. replace me i'm woody forever for life all woody that, for all life all that good stuff um mm-hmm. but yeah for 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 woody the only changes would be i, I guess they could release like a broken woody toy where <laughs> there's fluffing coming out of his Yo, arm or something like that you know an issue. <laughs> buzz they can throw the, that belt on him and uh Ant's my brand. Well, yeah. technically, Woody had a thicker arm at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I love Which it. they don't really do in the third and fourth one. You know what I mean? That yeah. He's right. back to normal. It, it, it flattens out, you know. <coughs> I um, have a lot more um, fun facts, but honestly, at this point, I'm not going to give them all because we could be here for hours. Right. So maybe I'll just post them on Instagram because yeah. there's some really good ones post that them. we can That's talk about. That's a good about. idea. I know the listeners like that. Um, Was it Tomato? So, this movie on Rotten Tomatoes, um, I don't know if you know, but on Rotten Tomatoes, Toy Story is very popular. Yeah. <laughs> uh, this Super one certified fresh. in particular has a 100% on what? Rotten Tomatoes. So did wow. Toy Story okay. 1, right? I feel S- like it did. Um, I believe so. <laughs> Hang on, let me see. 100%. It has a 100%, mm. um, which is wild. That's based on 168 reviews. Okay. The audience score has an 86%, which is interesting. Um, but Does yeah, those. Does that mean critics said it was 100% and viewers said it was an 86%? Correct. Yes. Okay. Uh, and you know, I think I think when viewers are doing it, it's it's based on like, well, I didn't like this one as much as Toy Story right, One right, or right. Toy Story Three or whatever and stuff like that. Uh, the same way we rate uh, these movies, but yeah, all all the critics, almost everyone said that it's uh, fresh. I mean, th- uh, okay, there's well there's no bad reviews from a from a critic. In, so that's good in here. because that that gives me good perspective on rating. So I'm gonna say. Even though this is not my favorite Toy Story movie, mm-hmm. there is nothing that I can say is bad. Right. Mm-hmm. Music good, characters mm-hmm. good, great continuation of maybe character. Jessie bugged you, but but she's still a good character. Yeah. Right. Like she's supposed to bug you. Yeah. Like it's absolutely. not that she's like a bad character. Um, yeah. Character development was good. I really liked the addition of Zerg, like yeah. as its own character. Mm-hmm. I like. Um, I like. Al, he was a great yeah, Al's character. Yeah, a great villain. S- you know? Stinky Pete's great. Like, there's nothing that I dislike in this movie other than just poor little Jesse's mania. But again, mm-hmm. that's something <laughs> you have to get through to get to the good part. Right. So I would say I'm going to give this movie a nine. It's still not my favorite Toy Story, but I'm going to give it a solid nine because it's really good. Yeah. And do I think we'll probably rewatch it? Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, Did Addie watch it with you? 
she did watch it and she liked it. She liked, she liked it. it. She yeah. kept saying Woody, Woody, <laughs> Woody. Oh, so she enjoyed it. That's great. Um, yeah, I I absolutely agree with you. Oh, I do everything. know. Hold on, I have oh. one qualm. Mm-hmm. qualm. I don't like the lack of female characters in this movie. I, I noticed that as well. When when Buzz maybe and the just boys, they have Jesse. They're when, like mm, maybe I guess when Buzz and the boys are leaving. And Ms. Potato Head is packing up Mr. Potato Head. It's like, well, why aren't you coming? You yeah. Know? Like, there's no there's no real reason that she shouldn't be there. And or why make up for that Toy Story Bo for Bo Peep stay. Yeah, it's, it's the same, it's same thing. It's like, there's no real reason that these two shouldn't be joining in on this adventure. Like, I don't mean to be rude. We could have swapped but out I, Slinky I for, think they're not for going. Going. Well, I think they're not going on the adventure because they're the, I think, aren't they the toy? They actually belong to Woody's little sister. And they can't really leave Both her. of them? Yeah. Well, Bo Peep is not right. Andy's. Bo it's Peep is it's the, little the little sisters, and I'm, I'm probably sure the Potato Head is, too. You know, you want to know what would have been cool? Mm. Is if they would have given, even if it was like half a snippet of a scene where it was like, you guys have to hold down the fort here. Right. We're hitting it out there. And mm. then there's like one scene where like Bo Peep's corralling everybody. Like yeah. she's being Bo Peep, but with the rest of the toys. Right. Yeah. Like she she's to, like, like settle everybody down at home. Yeah. She's like, no, 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 no. Yeah. He's OK. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, or like if they saw Every like mom has to come back because she forgot something. Well, Bo yeah. Peep, that, you know? you, we'll, we'll get a lot more of her in four, but she changes right. completely. And it would have been nice, though, to see like. <laughs> that the women characters had a little bit, or female, yeah. excuse me, had a little bit more prowess because the only female character we, female characters we see, are like Jesse, crazy, yep, in Jesse, or yeah, like Barbie. O- overly Barbie, right, yeah. in Barbie, yeah. which yeah. I mean Barbie's gonna be Barbie, I get it, mm-hmm. but like, so it's it's like sexualized or crazy, right? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. I, I I completely agree with that because. Y- y- it's so it's so interesting, I, and I think when we get to four, I'll, I'll mention this again. But four is basically like an overcorrection, not necessarily overcorrection, but a definite correction for two. It's okay. like, hey, here's all the female characters that you missed <laughs> a couple movies ago. Okay, they kind of got it right in three. Hey, three yeah. was a good balance, like, but, but between two and four, okay. four is like, here's all the ladies. It's like a Bo Peep movie. Yeah. Yes, hey. absolutely. Um, so my rating, I think uh, I, I agree with you 100. percent The the cast, music, Randy Newman killed it again. Um, Mm-hmm. Everybody did uh, had amazing performances. The animation is tip top, and um, the only reason that I'm gonna give it a nine point five versus a nine is because of the Star Wars references. They, that 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 made me extra extra happy um, <laughs> <I> <laughs> while watching this. That's the the, so the good. Zerg, you're my father stuff. That's that's just mwah, golden. I, I love it. It's 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 fantastic. You know what I would love to see is Zerg in the park. I feel like that would be really that would funny. Be so cool. cool. Like on because it would Halloween or something. I feel like it would be an easy enough costume. Yeah. Like, and really, he could like roll. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> imagine got, like, if he was like, on yeah, <laughs> he's like a robot, <laughs> or just like. Yeah, if he just like <laughs> rolled, I don't know. Like he's like in front of his ride. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, that would be good stuff. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. Because that dun, ride dun, really dun, dun, is. Dun, dun, dun. I love that ride. The ride's awesome. It. It's o- there's always people on that. They ride. better yeah. never get rid of that it's one. Super fun. Andre and I love going on that thing. Mm-hmm. I can't wait to take Buzz Addy on. Astro it. Well, and have you seen? Uh, I'll give my rating right now first, and then I'll ask if you've seen it. I'm gonna give it a nine. I'm pretty sure that's the same I gave as Toy Story 1. I can't remember. Yeah. Um, I love this movie. Toy Story's not my favorite franchise of Pixar, mm-hmm. but like out of the Toy Story movies, this one's my favorite. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give it a 9. I agree with you guys on everything, but I think that's why I give other Pixar movies like 10s because Toy yeah. Story in general is not my favorite franchise like out of all of them. Um, but nine, I mean, it's just, it's such a solid movie and it's the one that I keep rewatching yeah. because Toy Story one is creepy Sid. Toy <laughs> Story three is too emotional. Too and many feels. Oh and my four, God. four is okay. And well, I, I'm excited to rewatch it cause we only saw it the one time. Um, have you seen the Buzz Lightyear movie like with Zerg? Uh, the animated one, right? Yeah. Yes, I've seen that, and I watched the. You the, know how many times cartoon. I used to watch that, like so many times that movie. See, I probably only seen the movie once, maybe twice, something like that. But I watched the cartoon, the show. I didn't really watch the show, but I watched the movie like the show all was the cool. time. Buzz, Buzz like Lightyear, Star Command. It's basically like a Green Lantern show in mm, terms yeah. of because Green Lantern has a core where it's a whole bunch of Green Lanterns and they yeah. protect the universe. Yeah, that Buzz Lightyear cops. of Star Command movie is the bee's <coughs> knees. I don't even know if it's on Disney Plus, but if it is, hmm. you guys should watch it. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't hmm. know if it's on there. Um, well, speaking of subsequent Toy Story movies, we yes. are going to be doing Toy Story 3 for our next episode so that we yes. can get ready for That's Toy right. Story 4 get streaming on right. Disney Plus. Yeah, Into it should it. be up there like next week, I think. I believe February 5th I think this week or something it'll be up like that. Listeners. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's Toy Story 4 should be coming out. 
soon. Mm, right. We'll this episode first. comes out on the third. <coughs> yes. And I would just like to say that in terms of sequels, like these are the golden standard oh, of, sure. of Disney sequels. Definitely. A hundred percent. I'm going to say golden standard for sequels. Yeah. Because this a hundred percent to me and I could you can argue with me if you want. Mm -hmm. But to me, I don't traditionally like sequels. Sure. I will watch them. But you I always go in thinking like, OK, it's not going to be as good as my beloved right, first movie. The first one. So you just have to put on like the hat. Mm -hmm. This one does not feel like sequel quality. Right. The prime, 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 prime example of a bad sequel is Cars 2. Right. Another Pixar sequel, which is the only <coughs> Pixar movie that Andre hasn't seen. That's true. I've, what never, you've, I've you've never seen Cars 2. Have you seen Cars 3? Absolutely. He has seen. We uh, saw Cars, Cars 3, 3 in the theater. Cars 3 is the one with the, the new uh, lady driver. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that one's it was, it was Oh, Cars 2 her. was the Tokyo one. Yeah. Sure. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> it's bad. <laughs> it has Tokyo so. Drift references. You might like Word. it. No, no, no. But, <laughs> but Luis likes Tokyo Drift. And he I was mean, like, Tokyo Drift. this is Me and Luis should watch Fast and Furious together. Bad. It's um, real bad. It's so bad. But, yeah, in terms of sequels, these are the golden standard. The reason that they decided to make a Toy Story 2 after having made Toy Story 1. Uh, it, I think they said like a, about a month after the release, they were like, all right, let's do a sequel. And they were basing that on Return of Jafar, which was another Disney sequel that went like direct to DVD. But I'm it ended sorry, up I liked Return of Jafar. And it ended up making Disney like $100 million. Mm -hmm. and so they were like, yeah, I guess we'll do a sequel. But the fact that they deviated so far from like the original movie like they made this its own movie with its own character development and growth and added new characters and they just they did it all oh perfectly. the addition of jesse and bullseye is like perfect they're mm -hmm. still like so popular sometimes when i watch the first one i forget they're that not, they're in not, in it. not in for it. sure that's that's the the mark of a good sequel is that yes. the new characters that are in there you're like she, oh just as important well, jesse, lando's not in this one yoda's not in this yeah. one have what you, have you been to california adventure since the carousel's been open the jesse one which one? In California Adventure where it's the... It's on the pier. No, 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 okay, no. Okay, so they have Jesse's Critter Carousel. Yes, yes, yes. And it's all the critters that are in, like, the show. For sure. Like, the little, like, well, and it's cardboard funny too figures. Because <laughs> when we were watching, like, the show in the movie, mm -hmm. I was like, those are all the critters that are in the... The uh, ride. In the, the ride. Yeah. The, sh in the, the shooting. Toy Story Toy Mania. Story. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which Midway I'm just Mania. gonna throw it out there. That's I said this ride. before. Midway Mania is one of my favorite rides yeah. in California. It's Adventure. so good. It's so, so good. cute. It's so thought thought out. And without Toy Story two, that movie or that ride would not. Would no, it wouldn't, it wouldn't. You could have. still have the Buzz Shooter game. Mm -hmm. You could have that one just and from the Toy Alien Story one. one. Right. But, yeah. but you cannot have. You couldn't have the, the you know, Midway Mania. Midway without Mania without it. And I really appreciate that, yeah. that it's. Because it's, it's like the mines centric. and everything like mm -hmm. that, too. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love it. Absolutely. So freaking cute. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, this movie's dope. Join us next week for Toy Story 3. In the meantime, you can head over to our social media. We are at the Walt Vault Pod on everything. Um, Hey guys, make sure you're subscribed. That's very helpful to us. The more subscribers we have, the more eyes, uh, ears that we get uh, to listen to us. And eyes leading to <laughs> ears. Eyes and ears. Eyes on your screens, ears <laughs> on the podcast. Um, <laughs> and uh, especially if you're on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Um, leave a comment down below. Throw a like to our, our way. Um, if you really want to help us out, you can go to patreon.com slash the vault vault. Join up there. It's only a dollar. It's super simple. You get some extra content, and uh, we'll send you a gift in the mail if you shine up at the $5 or more level. That really helps us keep the lights on here in the dark, dark vault. All right. That's been it for now. We will see you guys next week or next time um, for some more Toy Story goodness. The vault is now closed.